Prince William was already making impressive speeches at 10 while Harry just wanted to be the center of attention, daughter of Queen's former press secretary reveals. A royal commentator has revealed how future King, Prince William, was already making speeches aged just 10, while stood on a box. Speaking on Yahoo's royal box this week, Victoria Arbiter revealed what it was like growing in Kensington Palace, alongside her father Dickie Arbiter who was a press spokesman for Queen Elizabeth II until 2000. Victoria recalled a 1992 Christmas party Diana threw, which had big names including George Michael in attendance, remembering how she beamed with pride as William thanked the star-studded audience for coming, while cheeky Prince Harry, then eight, was pulling at her skirt for attention. She revealed that the boys already displayed Diana's characteristics then, with Harry embodying her mischievous, naughty side. Victoria said, the best opportunity that I had to sort of really witness their personalities I think it was probably 1992. Diana had just stepped back from a number of her patronages and she had a Christmas party at Kensington Palace, we got to go to that. And while we were there, Diana was standing next to us and she had asked William as the man of the family to stand up and make a speech. Revealing the likes of Elton John were at the party, she continued. William at 10 years old, he stood up on a box and thanked all the guests for coming. She was so proud she was beaming and Harry was right next to her and as Harry was wont to do, was tugging on her skirt trying to get her attention and she was saying shut up Harry, one minute, one minute. Victoria also revealed how Americans were more invested in the royal family since the addition of Meghan, explaining, certainly with Meghan being in there, they love that because they've always admired the royal family. So to suddenly have an American in there it seems more accessible. She added, and there's also I suppose that idea oh that could be me. Meghan was just a jobbing actress. There's no reason why she should have met Prince Harry and suddenly now she's the granddaughter-in-law of the Queen. But, I also think that Americans again, generalizing perhaps a little, they're so disillusioned with politics and where they are right now that the royal family is a bit of a relief. This month Meghan and Harry made a touching tribute to Princess Diana by including her sisters in the official royal christening photographs. Prince Harry's aunts Lady Jane Fellows and Lady Sarah McCorkadale stand proudly at forefront of picture, alongside Meghan's mother Doria Ragland and Prince Charles. Princess Diana's older sister Lady Jane Fellows was one of the first to meet baby Archie, ahead of Prince Charles and Prince William, giving yet another indication of Harry's dedication to his mother's side of the family. Dot.